Hello world, this is the fourth video in my series of videos where I'm trying to create my own Jarvis-like computer program as a beginner programmer. In the last three videos, we've seen the speech recognition app, the text-to-speech function, we connected to an Arduino board, and we posted a tweet using Tweepy all from this central program. In the last three videos, though, we've only interacted with the PyCharm console. That's here. So this is where the commands come in. This is where I input things that aren't part of the speech recognition. But uh, one of the endearing parts of Jarvis in the Iron Man comics and movies is when the uh, Tony Stark or Robert Downey Jr. interacts with Jarvis. And he does this through a variety of I user interfaces. You, we've seen the one in his mask where it shows a visual layout of things he's looking at, his armor status. Um, you've, we've seen physical user interfaces where he, I don't know, interacts with a hologram and it somehow recognizes that. But today we'll be looking at a graphical user interface or a GUI, which I struggled to create. Uh, I used a Python plugin called PyQt5, but I have to admit creating a GUI is definitely above my current knowledge level. Uh, this GUI does not interact with my program yet, but let's check out my progress so far. And full disclosure, my thumbnail was clickbait and my GUI is not that cool yet. So let's run this GUI. And this is it. So this is the emblem you see on my YouTube channel, just in the yellow format. There's an input box here. And let's say I type in a name. And then it returns it over there. So this is an input text box and then an output text box. So I would like this to be a lot better. And here on the output text box, like you saw when we interact with Twitter, I would love to see a Twitter feed here. Um, this is where I would compose a tweet, for example. And so that's all it is. And this took me several hours to, uh, well, several days and several hours to create. So looking at the code, um, when you install PyQt, it comes with its own designer. And so I created what you just saw in the designer in only, I don't know, an hour. And then when I went to go manipulate it, I didn't know what I was doing. So I found some YouTube videos to manually manipulate it. So um, if you have knowledge of programming, you see the normal import statements here. And then there's a the self-initialization. And you see this in more formal professional coding things that I'm not at yet and so I manually created the size of the GUI which I don't think that's a uh, smart thing to do because if you have different monitor sizes or if I want to miniaturize it and then I placed the picture in which is also manually the size is manually an input same with the line edit and the label, which is the output. Those are all manually hard-coded. I don't like that. Um, as I learn how to use this, I would like it to manually adjust. And so I know there's methods to do that. I'm just not very good at it. And then I learned how to take the input and output it here. But I don't know how to get the information from my main central program into this. And then here is the actual running of the code right here. And so I just don't have enough knowledge yet, but I just wanted to show off the progress so far. Um, I don't know if I need to pass info from the main logic program to the GUI, or if the GUI needs to be a part of my main logic program. So. I will continue working on that. So this is going to take me much more time to learn how to use this correctly. And uh, I'll probably want to see more 
functionality of this program to decide how I really want my GUI to look. So the next video, I'm thinking about either creating a text message system in here so I can text myself or my family info by voice command, or I was thinking of going down the financial path. I'm I enjoy investing and looking at stocks, and I think it would be cool here to just voice command, show me Tesla stock, and it pulls up a, pie, a chart of the stock price. So I hope you'll continue working, watching this series so you can see me work through this as a beginner programmer. I would eventually like to show out a real GUI, something of the Tony Stark nature of Iron Man. So please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Goodbye.